The Apple TV commercials suggest that Windows computers are coming pre-installed with reams of unwanted software or bloatware. But how much of this is hype and how much reality? We purchased eight brand new computers, opened the boxes, and objectively evaluated the out-of-box experience of each model. Each laptop had similar specifications including dual core processors, one gigabyte of memory, and costing between $750 and $900. The only exception was the Apple iBook, which cost $1,049, the cheapest model they make. What is bloatware? Typically, PC makers pay software writers a royalty for each PC pre-installed with the software. This is called software licensing. Bloatware turns the scheme on its ear. Now the software writers are paying the computer makers to place their software on the drive. Therefore, the more junk they put on our hard drives, the more money they make, and hence the name, bloatware. Since it is hard for one to know which way the money is flowing, we needed a more practical definition. We are defining bloatware as one of two things. Trialware, which is either limited functionality or full functionality for a limited time, and searchware, where our searches are routed to a particular search engine. By analyzing and categorizing all the software installed on each PC, the undisputed bloatware leader is Wild Tangent, followed by Microsoft, Symantec, and Google. As shown by this video from their website, Wild Tangent tries to throw as many games in your face as possible in the hopes that you might become addicted to one. With the exception of Acer, all the major PC manufacturers have inked a deal with Wild Tangent. I don't know who these guys are, but they are clearly the poster child for bloatware. I was surprised as anyone to see Microsoft contributing to the bloatware trend. In addition to Microsoft money, many PCs now have a 60-day trial of Microsoft Office. Our research shows that Office also takes the common files associations, so that after 60 days, you will need to pay between $300 and $500 to open up that Word or PowerPoint document. Although this is objective research, Qualitatively speaking, the most annoying bloatware is that of McAfee and Symantec. The stories are countless of all the setup and configuration problems experienced after opening up the box. Needless to say, all the laptops had either Symantec or McAfee installed. Thank God not one had both. All the big money nowadays has been in search and advertising. With the exception of Sony, Google and Yahoo have inked deals with all the other PC makers. But this isn't just about search toolbars. Google in particular has found innovative ways to monetize erroneous search results. If I type in an erroneous web address such as pcpitstopxyz.com, Google has placed special software so that advertising appears instead of an error. As a Google advertiser, we at PC Pitstop are not sure we like Google's latest innovation to charge us more money than we are already paying. Taking another look at our bloatware database, Gateway is the leader topping out at 22 different installed bloatware applications. Note that Apple also had one application as well. During initial startup, Apple pops a $99 offer for an email address and backup storage. Another objective measure of bloat is disk space used out of the box. Sony tops the scales with close to 30 gigabytes of used space. Dell users should count on losing about 25 gigabyte, and Apple comes in at the back of the pack at 16 gig. One last objective measurement. We took each computer out of the box and took out a stopwatch and timed how long it took to get to the internet. Gateway was the leader in this category, allowing us to be productive in just 15 minutes. Apple comes in second at 32 minutes and Sony trailing the pack at an hour and 15 minutes. Insiders at Gateway tell us that they are using a proprietary technology to delay the installation of all the bloatware, allowing us to get to work faster. Adding up the pieces, we now have four separate bloat categories, and then we ranked each vendor in each category. Then we summed the categories for each vendor to create the bloat index. We added a price category since to a certain degree bloatware is making PCs more affordable. Sony takes the crown for the king of bloat, followed by HP as the queen of bloat, and Dell as the bloat court jester. Congratulations to the trio for making our user experience more difficult than it need be. We also would like to take a moment to thank our sponsors. Without them, videos like these simply would not be possible. Thanks to all and see you next time at PC Pit Stop.